Hello everybody and welcome back to some more eyes. We jump in again. This time I'm gonna go as Tainted Maggie just because she is a fun chap and works really well with some niche modded items and I just I love the fact that this is a character that benefits so highly from um from on hit effects. It's just a lot of fun. And we get Red Bomber here, Explosion Immunity, and allows us to throw our bombs. I mean, Explosion Immunity on its own is pretty good. Also makes our character look kind of amazing. So, I am down to clown with this, and I hope you all are too. Either way, as for the question of today's episode... Uh, as for the question of today's episode, what's your favourite item that most people consider bad in Isaac? And, as a bonus question... Same question, but for other games. What's something that people think is bad, or most people know to be bad, that you have some sort of niche love for? Because, do you know, there's always that situation, like, sometimes, I don't know if you get this, but sometimes, ooh, lovely, um, that was very, very nice, unfortunately didn't get a hell of a lot of that, but... There's always this thing where, like, you'll play, you'll play, like, you'll start playing a game like The Binding of Isaac for the very first time, and while you're an absolute noob and don't know anything that's happening, you'll have a situation. Ooh, Glizzy would be pretty good if we can get an extra two pennies here. I mean, that's a luck penny, so I'm gonna grab that anyways. But if we could find a way to grab an additional penny here, that'd be very, very nice. There you go, baby, straight away. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> Just because that's an extra heart container. The rest of the stats are nice, but don't matter a ton. But the extra heart containers are very, very, very nice. Um, but, like, you'll have, like, your first few runs on Isaac when you first started playing the game. And you'll get some item that you now know to be pretty poo-poo stinky. But, also, why do I have a brother Bobby? Oh, it's from that penny, isn't it? Um, but... You, like, you have a really good run with it when you first start playing the game and don't know much about the items and don't know about the things that are even better than it. And so you just, it, it just worms its way into your heart as this item that you, like, you know deep down that at one time, oh, really? I kind of wanted Red Hearts this time. Um, you kind of know deep down that at one time it really, really helped you out and really, really sort of bolstered a, a bad run. Um, and it, it, it's, it's kind of, it, it's kind of a weird thing because, like, yeah, it, it kind of, do you know what? We should probably grab those. It kind of shouldn't exist. Oh, shit. I forgot I could do that. I forgot I could do that. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, it kind of shouldn't be the case because it probably was a bad item, but like, you just have this memory of it, of it being really, really good. Um, Like, for me, I, I wouldn't say it's underrated. I think people do like it, but I remember early on in Isaac have, um, having a run with Sharp Straw, and just obviously because he can give you HP, and this was at a time where... I needed HP, um, a lot, and I remember just being like, oh my god, this is like one of the best items ever. Obviously, now, most people, it's kind of, it's, it's alright until you get another active, but most people don't keep it. Um, but then I was like, dude, this is, this is incredible. This item is god tier. <laughs> um, ooh, there you go. Dude, we are literally the queen of bombs right now. Explosion immune and everything. Beautiful stuff. Oh, pumpkin mask. Um, pumpkin mask is kind of a weird one. Because it's actually not, like, that good for us on this run. We don't have another active, so I'm kind of tempted to grab it anyways. Bugger it. I'll just, I'll grab it because we don't have to use it. We don't have to use it, so I'll grab it. Basically, <clears throat> gives us 12 soul hearts, but for ev after that, every one minute we take damage and fire a brimstone, which as his character doesn't actually matter all that much. <clears throat> oh, the hug kills those guys. I forgot about that, as tainted Maggie. We have lethal hugs, remember? What a good little detail. <clears throat> yeah, so it's kind of like a weird one with uh, with this, because the, the damage it's going to do to us isn't actually that bad, but at the same time, we don't need the soul hearts, so it's not that worthwhile to use it really <clears throat> realistically it's not it's not that worthwhile Ooh, lovely stuff okay having all these spiders here has been your undoing because you're just giving me hearts to wail on you with so good luck with that a hey, mystery meat plus hp as well i'll take a peep into the devil deal here and see what we've got um Ooh. Guppy's tail is pretty darn good. We, but we don't really have the keys to make it work. I'm going to abstain for now. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go down this way. Um, and we're going to see, see what's what 
I know that obviously going into a devil deal and not taking anything isn't ideal because then it doesn't put us wholly in the angel deal uh, path, but still. Good, good. I'm glad that you just died. You just perished for me. I'm happy about that. Ooh, this is a, a bit of an intriguing room. Bit of an intriguing room. Unfortunately, we can't melee this guy, which we normally would very much like to do, but... He's taking, he's taking some damage anyways. There's some red hearts out that door, so I don't really care about, uh, about this. Is he going to give us lard? No, he's not. Yeah, I guess there's a heart right out here, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But yeah, I feel like that's always the case with, with multiple games. As I was saying about how, like, you kind of end up getting a weird special bond with an item that maybe isn't actually the best, but you got it really early on when you first started playing the game, and so it just kind of worms its way into your heart as this, like, really, really good item. Um, ooh, this is potentially pretty good. Unfortunately, I did just spend a key I didn't want to spend. Oh, there's a hair on my hand that's bothering the hell out of me. There you go. God damn. For any of you that, that like, that live with your girlfriend, wife, fiancé, is it not just the most, like, frustrating thing that there's just, there's just fucking hair everywhere? <laughs> like, there's just so much goddamn hair. Like, how is she not bald? There's so much hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's genuinely baffling. It's genuinely baffling. I don't I, I I can't fathom how there's so much hair everywhere. I'll I'll like find it in my clothes. Like it, it it's as if she's trying to like ward off potential potential other female suitors by just being like I mark my scent on this man by covering him in my own hair. <laughs> It's so fucking stupid. It's just everywhere. Right, what we got going on here? The virus, I think, is going to be pretty good. Um, <laughs> not an item that's typically very good, but um, the virus doing poison plus extra contact damage. Now, this does mean we're not guaranteed to get a heart, though, because sometimes we'll end up killing them via... Um... Ooh, yes, please. Um, I mean, that's a teleport out, at least. Come on, dude. Pay out with an item, please. This is getting ridiculous. I did everything I could for you. I can't believe you didn't pay out, my guy. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't pay out. Ooh, hello. I think we'll be taking that, thank you. That was kind of ridiculous that I didn't, uh... That I didn't get any reward off of off of paying into that guy so many times. And now we've got to fight Buster with a ridiculously low amount of health. But good job we can throw bombs at him, actually. Oh, that didn't really work out at all. I didn't realise he was going to go sprinting across the bloody goddamn room, to be honest. Yeah, little ghosties, if you could... Get your little sperms off of me. Ah, oh, balls. How did I not get hit there? I just died. God damn it. I just died. Okay, we roll it back. We're only eight minutes in. Let's just do it again, baby. Let's just do it again. Damn it, the virus could have been so good for us there. <laughs> now, this, these are the risks we, t we take. These are the risks we take as Maggie. I I'll be honest, though. I really got some sunk cost fallacy on those goddamn beggars. Like, I gave that thing so much health that I was like, I'm not gonna walk away with nothing. And I still walked away with nothing. Also, can this enemy just stop being itself and really just, just change the way it lives its life, please? I mean, Jacob's Ladder does make me happy, so. I am, I am somewhat pleased with this reboot of a run. Just a little bit, little bit sad with the, uh, the loss of progress, but, I'm not one to restart the recording as soon as I die, unless it's in the first minute. <laughs> so, we roll it back, we go again. Oh, can we, can we stop with these enemies, please? These enemies are unfathomably annoying. Luckily, they're also unfathomably dead. Lovely stuff, you are burned. Good stuff, okay. Right, let's hope we can keep up the pace here and, and create, craft something just as beautiful 
Unfortunately, we didn't really get much chance to use the virus on that last one, which I'm a little sad about. The virus was uh, my smoking gun, uh, kind of. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. No more explosion immunity, but it trailing behind us and uh, exploding is going to be kind of fun in certain scenarios. It's going to be kind of deadly to me in other scenarios, but in certain scenarios, it's going to be good. Right. Sack room. You know what it is, G. You know what it is. Ooh, a burn heart's actually very potentially good here. Because we can do that, and then that, and then that. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. We can, we can make this work. We just can't hug for a little bit here. We are going to need a heart at some point, though, actually. There's a heart right there. Good. Right, it's poison on those guys. Then we come in here and do that. Then we come back out here. And we refill our burn heart. Refill my burn heart. Do, 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 do. Restart my fire. Ooh, 3% chance to fire a freezing tier. Wait a minute, how does this work again? This is pretty interesting, isn't it? 3% chance to fire a freezing tier that instantly freezes enemies. If you have more than three hearts, you take damage every 30 seconds. Each time Thorn Ring uh, damages you, you get 7%. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. That seems good. That seems It seems dangerous, but it seems good. It seems like we'll definitely get some benefit out of that. And we got another very good item here. And a Glass D6, which I'm pretty happy about too. Some good items for tears here. Oh, I lost my burn heart. I'm so stupid. That was that was moronic. My bad. I kind of forgot I had it. I'll be honest, I forgot I had it. Ow. Mr. Boombastic got me there. Okay, my 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 ring just uh, damaged me. It's all good though. Right, come back this way before we start hemorrhaging HP again. Wanna go get two more hits on this bad boy. One. That's... I thought it was my reflection. It's Lost Mirror. Turns you into the uh, soul. Clear the next room to remove this effect. I mean, to be fair, that allows us to steal devil deals, right? So, it might be okay. It's not something I've considered before, but it might be okay. Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Try and keep our devil deal alive for one here. My ice ring damaging me once again. We got good old freezing tears here, and then all this going on. Right, so I take the HP, it's good stuff. I come in, this is an angel deal. Why is this an angel deal? Oh, it's because it's my sack room. I mean, okay. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. I'll certainly take it. This is uh, progressed into a rather peculiar run here, but it's a bit more interesting than what we had the first time around, I, if I do dare to say. If I do dare to say. Um, yes, I will do this. Gives me a black heart, but also makes my boss item a devil deal, which I think is going to be good for us overall, I hope. Something wicked's having issues. Um, something to do with my, my shotgun item. Okay. Yeah, it does seem to be just firing off shots into a random direction here. I'm not exactly sure what's the deal with that. I don't think that's intentional. You see how they're just kind of floating off into the into a random direction. I think that item is meant to fire a burst at enemies. Something Wicked's been having a lot of issues recently, to be honest. I'm not quite sure what's going on with it. There must be some sort of incompatibility with another mod I've started using or something. I mean, it's still going to hit things on occasion, but it's it's not the most ideal. Good, good, good. I am liking the setup. You see how they like going over rocks and triggering Jacob's Ladder and stuff? So they're still useful. It's just they're a, they're a bit off. They're a bit strange. We like it. We like it. What we got going on in here? Very much nothing. Very much nothing. I like it. I'm liking this a lot. Angry Fly. Um... Hmm... <clears throat> So, Angry Fly, instead, I'm going to reroll both of you into two different things. We got Ipecac, interesting, and Tears Accelerate and Gain Piercing. Oh, Lord. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Not what I was expecting here, uh, but we've got, we've, we've got something going on. 
We do indeed explode enemies on our hugs, which is very fun. And Jacob's Ladder does some wild stuff too. Um, I don't, I don't believe electric dice works at the minute, but because it's cheap, I'll buy it. Again, like I said, something wicked is having some some compatibility problems by the looks of it, because there's a few of the items in the pack that don't work at the minute. Although some of them might have been fixed, I'm not sure. But there's there's three that I know of now that that, that I don't think are working as intended. I will report to the dev and see if they have time to uh, to get on that. But we'll see, we'll see. Either way, it's boss time. Beautiful stuff. Okay, unfortunately, actually, I say unfortunately, deals 40 damage, deals one heart to Isaac, after the first use, deals half a heart, uh, instead, removes red hearts first. This could be really, I've never really considered this as an item that sort of works well as Tinted Maggie, but basically what I'm thinking is, if I go in here, okay, if I go in here, and wait until he's over here, pop that, and then get the red heart straight back, yeah. Okay, so they're not guaranteed to drop red hearts, which makes it a little less valuable. But this is this is pretty strong. I mean, more red hearts would be good. I love the way it accelerates. It's going to make it hard to use, but it's funny. Uh, we'll bomb here. We'll bomb here. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Bibbidi bomb. Bibbidi boo. Bibbidi bomb, bibbidi boo, bibbidi bomb, in here, yum heart, HP up. You see, you see, it's beautiful, right? Okay, from a distance this time. I want to see if my little weird shots that are going in random directions are Ipecac as well. They are, they are. If only they were heading in the right direction, but still. That's something. That's something. That's beautiful. We'll grab that. Shop item. Oh, that's a trinket. No, no, thank you. I'd rather have my thorn ring for random chance to freeze. I like my random chance to freeze. Thank you. See, that's just beautiful. That's just absolutely beautiful. And both of these are pretty meh, but I guess this one's going to be the better one for us. So we can hold two things. Oh man. How have I never thought about how good this item would be as this character before? How have I never considered this? It's it's quite literally something to behold. The thing is I've always got Yum Heart like sitting there ready as well. Like I don't have to get all the heart drops to make it worthwhile. Like I could just do this. <laughs> it's a little more risky as a strategy, as far as it goes, but I can spam it a little bit. We'll take that. We'll take that, and we'll go down. Even more hearts for us, lovely stuff. Red hearts are buggying on down right now. Ooh, this is interesting having all of these rock types here. The screw is not what I was expecting there. That's very, very nice. The speed up is, uh, I wouldn't say exactly necessary, but very useful to have. What card we got here? We will take a look at that, shall we? Sack room is very nice to see. There's the angel. What is this? Limbus. If the player dies and has no extra lives, player will turn into soul for current level. Interesting. Potentially interesting. We'll come back to you once we've got more hearts. Didn't want that, thank you. Although, wait, where's my, where's my ring of, what the hell? Lovely stuff. Where's my ring gone? My, my like... Did I leave it on a different floor or something? Very confused right now. <laughs> Very confused. Massive bonus to my shot speed, I guess. Why not? 
Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit perplexed where my, my, my ring of, uh, my ice ring or whatever it was called went. This has confused me deeply. Thank you. Couldn't quite get you quickly. Come on, dude. Why can't I just blow you up? There you go. You know my blowing up of you to be true. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Took a while to get there is all. Lovely stuff. We have an insane shot speed right now. Ow. I, I literally just walked right into that. There was That was so avoidable. I'm loving this just crazy explosive shenanigans we've got going on right now. And we get Chastity Belt, which I think is going to be good. We can only ever hold five keys at once, but the more keys we get... I think that's it, isn't it? Um, the more keys we get, the more damage we do. Oh, no, sorry. So the less keys we have, the more damage we have. That's fine by me. Unfortunately, I would still like some keys, though. I see you there. I can just keep blowing up rocks until it keeps producing tinted rocks for me. There you go, there's another one, look. I don't have enough keys, I can't open up the heart. God damn it. I think I'm scared of you. I think I'm scared of those blocks. Hey, there's two keys. We went into the item room already, apparently. Shop, though, we haven't been into. Um, This is a speed up, right? Yes, thank you. Anything that's a speed up, I want. Speed is pretty key when we're trying to chase after hearts right now. Oh, hello. This is a pretty decent chest for us to open. Bloodlust. There you go. That's really good too for us right now. We like it. We love it. There's apparently another enemy in here still. Oh, it's you. I see. Magician. Pop it. Pop that. Come on. Don't be like this. Why y'all enemies gotta be so horrible? Okay. Boss time. Now, don't think you got too good of a time there. Another Tinted Rock, baby. Tinted Rock's galore this floor. As long as you can destroy rocks, they just keep coming. And we did get an Angel Deal, which we've already been to, right? Yes, we have. I thought so. Okay. Keep her moving. This is a fun run. This is the this is why I love Maggie. She can just I mean on a regular run this would still be good, but Maggie specifically, you could just do some wacky stuff with certain items that just normally aren't at all viable. Yeah, and items that normally you just can't get away with with using sort of regularly. You can really do some interesting stuff with, with this guy. Or gal, should I say. Good. good. I'm, I'm going to try and stick to two keys maximum here. Going to try and stick to two keys maximum. There you go. We'll just get in there. Oh, that was a charge key. Didn't really need that for anything, but there you go. Man. Blood rights is so strong <laughs> if you have ways of getting HP back. Like, so strong. Teleport with me to an error room. I will definitely utilize that in the future. Shoots a dagger that sticks into enemies and prevents them from running too far away from you. Upon using the dagger, um, is attached to enemies, rips through them and deals damage. It's kind of interesting, but I think right now we, we have a setup that we like and we're going to be sticking with it. Uh, we still need to find our item room first. Let's hibbity hop back. Thank God we've got a bit of extra speed, though, for maneuvering around here. That was kind of a tricky room there. That was kind of a sneaky little room you had going on right there. Don't appreciate that. I can use Yumha after this room. Yeah, just because you've got little rolly heads doesn't mean I'm going to appreciate what you do. I'm going to destroy you instantly. Yeah, I knew that was going to be secret room. Oh, hello. All good in the hood. Thank you, thank you. 
And thank you, thank you as well to you. Oh man, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. Ah, keys. I'll take two. Euphoria? Euphoria doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for us, unfortunately. Um, probably should play the blood donation machine at least a little bit, right? There you go. Hey, I, I think I actually lost some red hearts out of that. I think that probably wasn't a good item to take. I think I lost two red heart containers off of the back of that. My bad. It's okay, though. It's okay. We can regain them. We know we can. Remember to do the error room teleportation after the boss fight here. Good. Um, I'll take the negative this time. Devil deal, I will check out. Uh, what we got going on here? Hungry soul and mortal coil. Um, one black heart on... When on half a heart or less, 10% chance to spawn a soul heart on room clear. I don't think that does much to us, does it? I don't think that's very good. Uh, I don't think that's very good either. No, I don't think that's really our, our style here. Pop in here and see what we can get. Uh, uh, we got, what's this? On, ex on bomb explosion spawn, lit red bomb. Interesting. And then just apple. We'll take the apple. And then we got quite a few items here. I think we're probably going to go with... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this like a puzzle room? Wait. Do not tell me. Do not tell me I have to black room these. Hold up. Can I get this card? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's see what this spawns. Minus one heart container, heals 1.5 hearts, grants gilded key on use. Um, nah, we don't want that, do we? Um, oh my god, I forget that picking it up so... Oh my god, what have I done? Range up. Speed up. My goodness, what have I done? No! That didn't work at all. Okay, so that's fucked everything royally, if you can't tell. <clears throat> Look at my health. It ruined it. And I, I I kept the black rune. Oh, man. That is... That has slightly rubbed me the wrong way. That is not what the item said it was going to do at all. And now I can't use my tactic anymore. I have to play it safe, like a normal person. I don't want to play it safe. Is that filigree feather I see? Not that we have angel deals coming up, so it doesn't exactly matter. But goddamn. Yeah, that that is a... Uh, kind of a, a bit of fuckery that we've had to deal with here. I mean, luckily our run is still very good as is. But Blood Rites isn't as usable as it once was. I mean, it's still usable, as you can clearly see. In fact, it allows us to use our melee reasonably well here, because we can use our iframes to walk into enemies and do damage. So it's it's got some it's got some niche use case still. It's just not as good as it once was, because our health is a little less pliable now. A little less malleable for us. I'm trying to keep these burn hearts alive, to be honest. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Birthday cake. That's some more health. Lovely. We've got... I think this one's good. Azazel's Rage. Why not? Isn't that a brimstone every couple of rooms? Every fourth room we do a big brimstone, I think.
Okay. Be careful of these little dangly boys. They do not, uh... They are not very nice. We all good? No, we're not. Okay. Keep the eternal heart alive. That is the goal. That is the goal of this floor. We do have a black rune here for sucking up, uh... Whatever this bookstore may give us. Black rune, baby. I probably should have got 20 first, but... Hey, her. I didn't. See, that's what I should have been doing on the last floor when there was those items there, but... It was a tricky... It was like a little trick of a room. Oh, God. So, this isn't exactly good. Because, um, I didn't think about the, uh, sheer amount of explosive force that, that would have. So, I did lose my eternal heart, unfortunately. Somewhat to be expected. I lost a burn heart as well in the mix. We lost everything. Um, yes, please. I know it's a bit risky, but I'll take it. I mean, to be, to be fair, really, did I need to take that? Did I need to take the 0 0.95 damage on top of my 52 damage that I already have? Or however much damage I already have? It's a lot, I know that. It's weird how much we messed up this run. My god. The explosions are... Too much. My shot speed has reached, um, ridiculous levels, so I'm going to drop that. Okay. Yeah, the shot speed was getting to be a little cumbersome, more than helpful. Spicy keys. But why did I do this? I've just locked myself in here. Yeah, no, thank you. I'll be going... Oh, hello. Must fight the mini-boss. The invincible mini-boss who always hits me. Okay, no, you're dead. Oh, really? Just a black heart? I mean, that's better than nothing, but... Yeah, so we're kind of race against the clock right now because we, we really don't have a good setup for this boss. So I'm just trying to do go as fast as I possibly can to make sure we can make this work somehow. Super secret room. Should get us close to the boss, at least. There you go. I knew it would. Right, it's time for the boss, man. Euphoria, do your thing. Euphoria to double our fire rate. And barrage. Absolutely barrage him with nuclear apocalypse. Damn it, I hurt myself. We did it! Are we gonna live for this last floor? That is... That is a really good question. I think it depends on what these items decide to give us. Um... Yeah, these aren't what we were looking for, so... This might be it, people. Especially when I get hit immediately upon walking into a room. Yeah, I do not like this version of Gish at all. I think this rework of Gish is really weird. Although it may be thematic for the game, it's just hard to read. I don't really understand what he's meant to be doing. I lost my burn heart. Okay, it seems like the 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 chance of me perishing is becoming more and more inevitable. So, get ready for that. Get ready for that, because we are one heart left. All it takes is one really stupid mistake, which is very, very simple for me to make. You would be surprised at the amount of stupid mistakes I make on a daily basis. Come on, chest, save us. Black hole, that doesn't save us. That saves us, however. It literally saves us from the hit we just took. I'll bugger off you guys. You didn't have to do that. We got a burn heart back though. That is that is truly something to behold. 
Really? Do we gotta fight you? Would I like you to not steal my burn heart, please? No! You stole my burn heart! What'd I just say? <gasps> A soul heart, though. What's, what's, what's happening in this room? Okay, there you go. They got Newt. Okay. You are my last hope. Genuinely don't know what you can give me to help. I don't think anything by the looks of it. Unless you give me a Hierophant, but I don't know what a Hierophant looks like, so... I know that's the tower. I, can see forever. I don't know what the Hierophant looks like. Help me. I'm just gonna bomb you and see what happens. The stars. Okay, we got one hit and a dream, baby. No! I bombed myself. Oh! Oh! The glass thing! You can be my hero, baby. Holy hell, we did it. Okay, don't know how I won that one. I hope you guys enjoyed that absolute craziness. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.